How you doing, Real Motivation? Terrence McKinney back with a new video. It's time for uh, me to feed your spirit again. And I'm going to let my viewers know because I respect all my viewers. From I got a lot of viewers from a whole bunch of different races and a whole bunch of different backgrounds. But this video today, it ain't for everybody. It's mainly for the people who look like me and who going through some of the stuff that uh, we going through in our community. And today's video is called Why We Kill Each Other. Because when you look at the news, things is getting out of hand. I mean, when you look at your phone, every other day is a killing going on. And there's a lot of killings going on with the youth. But it's killings going on uh, with just people in my age group. But it's getting crazy. And it's been out of hand. But it just seems like lately it's been upped up another notch. And I know it's people going through this in every big city in America. And we got to talk about why we kill each other because I know why we kill each other. And the main reason why we kill each other is because we don't know who we is. And it all start with that. We ain't got a clue. We don't know our history. We don't know our culture. And we just, we think what's going on right now and we think that's our culture. We think the stuff that we seeing is our culture. And it's not. We don't got a clue. Um, I mean, Hosea 4.6, I want all y'all to look that up because that's one of the most powerful statements in the in the Bible. It's the, it say, my people perish for lack of knowledge. And, and, and they get deep. We don't got a clue that who we is. We think our history go back 400 years, but most of us, we can't expand more than 400 years. And so we doing the same thing that was done to us, to each other. I and mean, we think it's cool. We've been programmed for so long that we like robots now. And it started back then. We was pitted against each other. It was light skin versus dark skin. House nigga versus field nigga. It was slaves turning on other slaves. Uh, taking sides with the master so they can get in good graces and we've been just programmed and programmed and programmed to hate our brother for so long and now it's not manifesting it into the youth to where now we just killing each other for no reason we we, we find any reason to kill each other we, we fighting over blocks that we don't own we fighting over colors that don't mean nothing we we fighting over money we fighting over drugs we fighting over so much stuff that don't mean nothing and we and that all boiled back to us not knowing our history not knowing our culture not knowing where we came from and instead of us knowing you know our history and our culture and looking for that we we just going by whatever the media portray us the media tell us uh, or tv tell us that we we gangsters and, and and this is our culture we ride with it if, if rappers come out they set the culture and then we ride with it but that ain't right we the house of israel and our our history go back you know six thousand years ago and we don't know that and if we knew that we was you know the hebrews of the bible and the commandments uh statues and laws that we were supposed to live by we wouldn't be doing th this all this was prophesied a long time ago and we think that we black people but why how can we be black people this this shirt that I got on is black. You look at my skin. Ain't nothing black about that. You know, you don't hear an Irish man saying that he white because he ain't white. He Irish. You don't hear somebody from Japan saying that they yellow. No, because they, they not yellow. They Japan. You don't even hear an African saying that he black. No, he, he's African. So how can you be black? You're not black. You just go about what you was programmed. Black is a color. And when you look at black, the color is, is, is just is insinuated with so much negativity i don't even know why we even call ourselves black these days i mean when when i go fill out stuff i don't i don't put black on the application i put other because it's a white black other you know and then it start you know latino and start naming 
different different ethnicities. Black is not your ethnicity, or if I'm pronouncing it wrong, don't kill me, but it, it is what it is. Black, it, it recognize it resembles death. You know, you put on black when when you go into a funeral. It, black, oh, the day is black. It's so gloomy. It, it, it represents gloom. It don't represent who I am. That's just a color, you know. I'm clearly brown. I'll never say I'm black again. I mean, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. That's what I am. I mean, that's my nationality. And I mean, black is just a color and that don't describe my skin tone. So why would I relate myself to that? Anything that society done programmed and gave us, we just ran with it. And if they tell us we black, we black. If they tell us we a Negro, we a Negro. If they tell us we color, we color. Anything they tell us we're African American, then we are African American. No, you don't hear a European saying they European Americans. You know, you, I mean, you just don't hear that. You don't hear Caucasian people saying, "Yeah, I'm European American. Why not?" We all came on that slave ship together. You know, they was coming from different parts of Europe, and we was coming from Africa. But you don't hear them claiming that they European Americans. So, first of all, we need to quit taking everything they give us like it's it's just gold, and we need to quit. Thinking that we ain't got no history. Your history go way back to 400 years. Your history is way deeper than what you learn on in February. I mean, everything we learn in February is from what happened in the United States. But you go to school every single day of the year and you learn about... <laughs> Everything that happened in a century, you you find out about Genghis Khan, you find out about Alexander the Great, you find out about all these great kings of England, you you find out about all these great queens of, of Spain, you find out about all these gate con these great conquerors in, in Saudi Arabia. But when it comes to us, you don't find out nothing, and, and that's because you program. So you think your your history go back. Uh, 400 years so every February you learning the same thing over and over repetitively for 12 years while you in school so you're not even thinking about what happened before we got to this country because when you learn about everybody else's history it go back ages and ages and ages and ages and the reason why they ain't teaching you that history in school because a lot of people don't want you to know that you the Hebrews of the, of the Bible and, and your history go deep. You got real life kings in your history. You got King David, King Solomon. You got the Messiah. You got a, a, a lot of people in your history that's the did great, great, great things, but they're not teaching you that. They're not teaching you about the covenants you got with the, the true and living God of Israel. They're not teaching you that. And... I understand the politics, I mean, and, and where we at, and the country at, and that stuff will never get taught to us, but the thing about it is, we ain't scratching enough beliefs to surface, and we ain't trying to do that digging on our own, we just thinking, like, our history is lost, that's, that's, you know, crazy for us to think that we can't go no further than the last 400 years, and these teachers... In these schools and everything else, yeah, you black teachers, y'all gotta step y'all game up, man. Y'all gotta quit, you know, just teaching the same stuff year over year in the month of February, man. If you're gonna teach history, I mean, brown people history, teach it year round, you know, find stuff that happened before we we got over to this to this country and and and, and teach our youth, you know, truth and not only what they mandating you to teach because it's ridiculous, man. And then, and the history that they gave us in this country is, is the history literally they gave us. Some of the stuff that we learn it is from people we perceive leaders, but ain't none of these leaders ever, you know, got us back right with the most high like they should have. And, and I'm just keeping it real. And this ain't no disrespect to Malcolm X and, and Dr. King or none of them, but ain't none of them call on the Holy One of Israel. All of them had the platform. All of them had millions and millions and millions of followers. And all of them was on the stage. But ain't none of them one time tell you to uh, turn back to the law, statute, and commandment. And how to get right with the Most High. So we can maybe even overturn this captivity that we've been in for so long. Ain't none of them ever tell you on that stage. Like, if we want to 
get things right, marching ain't gonna never do it. I mean, we, we done marched forever and ever and ever. Like, I mean, all that's cute, all that's dandy, and you know, but that ain't gonna never change nothing. I mean, I, if we wanna change things, it say in the Bible how we change things, we cry out to the Most High, and, and we return back to His ways, the ways of the Bible, the ways of Leviticus, the, the ways of uh, Exodus, when, when they gave us the law, statutes, and commandments. We got to do all the right stuff, you know, and, and cry on to the most high, and he overturned our captivity. You you never heard none of that come from all these leaders that we follow. And none of them tell you you was the, the, the house of Israel, and this is how the house of Israel returned a captivity. Because it happened over and over and over in the Old Testament that we went in captivity. Every time that captivity got overturned, guess what? We, we, we changed our ways. But ain't none of these leaders in all these years ever told you how to get back right and how to overturn this captivity. And so, you, you got to look beneath the surface and uh, uh, some of this gonna be like a shock to some people and some of these and some of y'all gonna, uh, gonna think I'm crazy and I'm ranting and I'm, I'm I'm just saying anything but I mean fact check me that's what I always say man go behind what I'm saying and, and do your own due diligence see if I'm telling you the truth see if I'm telling you a lie a lot of y'all just gonna be like uh whatever he, 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 he talking crazy, but that ain't the case. I'm telling you, I'm telling you the truth. I'm, and I'm I'm going to tell you the truth just because, I mean, apparently you ain't getting it from nowhere else. And I want to see all this, this stuff change. But everything we going through right now was prophesied. What will happen with, I mean, because we ain't changed our ways and because we denied the most high God. I mean, just think about it. We done tried everything in this <laughs> In this world, for real, to, to, to get on an equal platform, and it still ain't happened. I mean, we done we just when we think we at the the top of the mountain, and and, and we finna make a turn, it it, it it still don't happen. You know, we thought y'all thought when we got Obama in, in in the White House that we did something great, but guess what? The killing even intensified. We still in the same living conditions. We still fighting to get ahead. We still. And we still in in the ghetto. We we still doing the same thing we was doing then, and he done came on. I mean, I remember all the hope and and, and all uh, you know everything that was behind behind Obama when he when he got into office. I remember seeing you know kids crying, old people crying, be like, y'all really thought we reached the mountaintop and, and things was gonna change because we had a black president, but it did. <laughs> did nothing change? It, I mean, the, the killing in Chicago, where he, where he from, it just skyrocketed. It just skyrocketed, and then he get in power in the office, and, and he let a lot of stuff happen that that shouldn't have happened. And not one time did he do anything particular for us. And, and I mean, ain't none of them gonna do nothing for us. And I'm not saying that that the next person behind him did any better. I'm not saying that, but. But my point is, ain't none of them going to do, do some of us. We keep looking for some man to be our savior, but that ain't going to never happen. Our savior is the holy one in Israel. Like, that's that's what we got to turn to when, when we in trouble. That's that's how we get out of trouble. I mean, somebody else may be able to turn to a man, but us, the people say the color of be here in America, how we get out of captivity and how we overturn our trouble is is when we turn our ways and we turn to the Holy One. That's the, that's the only one that can save us. That That's it. That's the only one that saved us over and over and over and over and over. When we was in Egypt trapped, that's, that's the only one who saved us and got us up out of Egypt when he was splitting the sea and he was, you know, Sending plague after plague after plague after plague until we finally got out of there. When when nobody else, what no man coming, nobody we put in office, nobody we voted in, none of that. That it don't work like that, man. And a, a lot of y'all don't realize that. And so we just running around killing each other because we don't know who he is, man. This this stuff that's going on. I mean, in today's society, it's crazy, man, when you see kids, 13, 14, 15-year-old, killing each other, 16-year-old, 17-year-old. They're saying there's war going on in my city right now between 
15 year olds, 16 year olds, and 17 year olds. That's crazy, man. That's at the age where our mind's still developing, but yet we got guns and we going to war. I mean, I got look, I got nephews, nieces, I got sons, man. This shit is ridiculous, man. I mean, like, I mean, and they experiencing stuff at their ages where they shouldn't be experiencing. Like, and it's crazy because all of it is prophesized. When you, when you turn to Deuteronomy, uh, it, it go deep and deep and deep, and it tell us we was going, uh, we was gonna be going through this. Deuteronomy twenty eight forty one. Thou shalt begat sons and daughters, but they shall not. But thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. Uh, Deuteronomy sixty six, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and have no insurance, no insurance of thy life. That's that's every single day. Like you, I mean, we walk down the street, we gotta look over our back. We walk down the street, we gotta ride with a gun, man. That ain't happening in nobody else communities, man. Ain't nobody else out here killing each other, man. You know, I mean, you can go anywhere else where it's a big group of people and they ain't out here at their neck, a cutthroat, you know. They ain't trying to live out what they see on Power or what they see on BMF or what they see on whatever the latest TV show is, man. All, all that stuff is garbage at the end of the day. Like, and I'm just keeping it 100, man. Y'all might think that's good entertainment and y'all might might like all that stuff. I used to be the same way. But the, once I got, once I woke up and realized what it was doing and how it was programming everybody that you see, like all these little dudes running around here thinking they, uh, Whatever the uh, ghost son was, I can't even think of his name because I ain't watched the show in like two or three years. But all these guys, Tyreek, all these guys, these little guys thinking they Tyreek where they can run around and murder people and get away with it. It don't happen like that because the minute they get caught, man, they gone for 25 years or less. They ain't getting killed themselves. I mean, Deuteronomy 2854. And so that man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. Like and that go on even more. But that's that's exactly what it is. That's that's black on black crime. That's when your eye is evil towards your brother. That's when you see somebody doing something and you instantly you got envious thoughts or you got thoughts of murder. You got thoughts of doing something to them. All this that we going through these days is happening because we don't know who we is, man. And y'all Y'all got to listen, man, because if we knew who we was, man, if we knew what we were supposed to be doing, all this changed. The minute you wake up to the truth, man, everything changed, man. I'm telling you that right now. I mean, I, I did a lot of stuff in my lifetime. Like, and I, I, I ain't got no clean slate, you know. I did some crimes in my life, and, and I was one of them dudes. Like, and I'm, 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 when people see me, they still relate me to back then like i'm still you know trying to run away from my past because i don't know awoke to something new like and when people see me in the streets a lot of times they they relate me still to that street dude that i was like and and, and i done changed did a whole 360 and the minute i awoke everything is just like the glasses came off and you see everything for for what it truly is man and, and the reason why we doing this to each other is because we don't know who he is man like we think we think black history is 400 years in America. Uh, and I hate to even say black history because, uh, like I said earlier in the video, I mean, I don't even consider myself black. I consider myself a Hebrew Israelite. But we think Hebrew Israelite history is 400 years on this earth and we've been programmed so long that uh, now we just, they can just sit back and watch and put their legs up. You know, back in the day, they used to be the ones who want to exterminate us. And, and kill us and hang us from trees and and put us in jails for the rest of our life. But now they don't got to do that because they done, they done set it up so good to where we doing it on our own. I mean, they just they just give up to stuff now and, and stand back with they with their hands up like they ain't got nothing to do with it. But all along they still controlling it and everything else. We can't see we we can't see where it's coming from. We just fell right into the pan. I mean, where do you think all these guns coming from? How do you think all these 13, 14, and 15 year olds getting guns? How do you think they getting drugs? How you, I mean, just think about it. We don't own no planes. We don't own no no big trucks to, to get the stuff in the city. Ain't, 
I mean, just think about it, man. Who who put crack in the ghetto? The CIA. I mean, everybody know that. I mean, listen to some of these documentaries, man. Who 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 put all these drugs in our community? They put the stuff in our community, and we just took it around with it because we blind about what we see. We we blind about the flashy things. We want the nice cars. We want the nice rings. We want the chains. We want the cars. We want the houses. We want to be stepping every single day when we when we step out. We want to be we want to be the tough ones on the block. We want to be the ones respected, but we going about it the wrong way. We going about it the wrong way because we don't know who we is. If we knew who we was and what we were supposed to be here for, everything can be everything changed. And the minute you find out. <laughs> that you the Hebrew Israelite and you start reading that book everything changed so I just want y'all to like comment spread this message if you ain't feeling what I'm saying in this message and, and like I said this message is for my people my people if y'all looking at this and, and y'all ain't feeling what I'm saying let me know y'all ain't feeling what I'm saying let me know why y'all ain't feeling what I'm saying and so maybe we can have a discussion and I can break it down to you on a lower level but the things, I think the things ain't going to never change until more of my people wake up and realize that we more than just uh, a race of people put here to uh, cause destruction on each other. And parents, you know, leaders, you know, guardians, y'all got to step up, man. Y'all got to raise the bar up to another level. Y'all got to start doing some soul searching and y'all got to find out, you know, what we can do. To turn this stuff around because right now we just we just exterminating each other for no reason and there's a lot of people gonna die and, and they're gonna wake up in hell or it's a lot of people who gonna be spending the rest of their life in jail and, and they and when they find out the truth it's gonna be too late so real motivation thank you for your time i mean like i said like share and comment thank you